Okay, so the next one says a girl throws a tennis ball upward with an initial velocity of 4 meters per second. What is the maximum displacement of the ball? Alright, so we'll have the ground here, we'll have our stick figure, and we'll have the girl throwing the ball upward. And in this case, V initial equals 4 meters per second. And we know intuitively what happens when we throw a ball up is the ball goes up. At some point, it reaches its peak of height and then it turns around and starts coming back down. And uh, a fact that you use in a lot of physics problems is that when a projectile, a ball, lots of different projectiles, is at the peak of its trajectory, its velocity is zero. So V final is zero at the peak because what we're interested in intuitively we should know that the maximum displacement occurs uh, when it's at its peak. So if we call uh, the initial height of the ball, we'll let that be uh, y equals zero. So what we want to know is we want to know y final when uh, the final velocity is zero. And this is another uh, circumstance where we're not given the time and we're not asked for the time. And while we could certainly solve two equations and, and find the time as an intermediate step, and I'll probably do it that way, but let me go ahead and demonstrate it with the kinematic equation without the time. We have V final squared equals V initial squared uh, minus 2G delta Y. And if you look at this, you realize there's no time in it. You have the initial velocity, you have the final velocity, g is just the acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, and delta y is that answer that you want. Uh, it's the maximum displacement. Uh, so in this case, you would solve it. Uh, let's just do a little algebra here. Um, v final squared minus v initial squared equals 2g delta y, divide both sides by 2g, so here you get delta y equals v final squared minus v initial squared over 2g, and here uh, you remember that uh, v final is going to be uh, zero, so and you got a minus sign running around that might not make you comfortable, um, but really it's just whatever the magnitude of that is on the right hand side. Okay, so this is the way to work it leaving the time out. The other way to work it is you use the equation V final equals V initial minus GT, and you can solve this equation to find the time. In other words, how much time does that ball spend going up? We're going to call that T up. So solving this equation, minus g t up uh, equals v final minus v initial, and so minus g t up, v final is zero, equals mi uh, minus 4 meters per second. So T up equals, negative signs cancel out, 4 meters per second over 9.8 meters per second squared. And when you look at the units carefully there, meters per second divided by meters per second squared is seconds. So um, I'll just leave it as 4 divided by 9.8 seconds for T up. And then you just have to find out uh, how far up it went in that process by using the kinematic equation for the position. Y final equals Y initial plus V initial times the time minus one half G T squared. We know Y initial is zero. The initial is your four meters per second. T up is whatever this uh, fraction turns out to be. And G is uh, the 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. So I'll leave uh, plugging in the numbers there 
as an exercise for the diligent student so we can get to the next one.